Thrall says nervously. Sister, Poseidon is the most feared god of the twelve gods of Olympus. Brunhilde says, The twelve gods, you say? Dear little sister, I will take this opportunity to tell you one thing. And Gaul says, What is it about? Brunhilde replies, Long ago there were thirteen gods on Olympus, just as we, the thirteen Valkyries. Gaul says, Thirteen gods? What do you mean? But one of those thirteen gods was killed by none other than Poseidon. Gaul would be surprised and say, A god who killed another god? I never knew about that. And who was that god? Brunhilde says the name of the god was Adamas, the older brother of Zeus and Poseidon, the fearsome Adamas. Long ago Adamas was very envious of Zeus because Zeus was designated as the main god and organized a rebellion. He freed the titans and giants who were imprisoned in the underworld, even joining them by one of the cruelest monsters in hell. And with that, he set his plan in motion. Adamas talked to his little brother Poseidon. Adamas said, Poseidon, the time has come. The gods of the heavens and the forty-eight gods of the heavens will decide to follow me. And not only that, some of the thirteen gods of Olympus, like Hermes, have also decided to join me. You are the only one missing. If you decide to join me, we can cut off the head of Zeus. Listen to me, I'm your big brother. Obviously you're going to help me, Poseidon, or not. Poseidon says, I can't believe you're my brother. You're pathetic. Adamus is surprised by what Poseidon says and says angrily, Excuse me, what did you say? Poseidon never looked into his brother's eyes. Adamus said, You don't respect me. Look me in the eye. I'm your big brother. You should respect me. Poseidon rises from his seat and says, The gods do not unite. The gods do not conspire. The gods do not trust others. This is how a god should be. We are perfect. But you, you have already broken each of those rules. Adamus says, Damn. Maybe you make fun of me. Adamus tries to attack Poseidon. Adamus remembers his best moments with Poseidon when they were children. It has always been the same with you. You've always been like this since you were born. You've always considered yourself superior to me. Poseidon looks into his brother's eyes for the first time, pierces his trident in the abdomen of his older brother, the god Adamus, throwing in like garbage on the ground, making his life snuffed out forever. Brunhilde says, Therefore, Poseidon provoked fear among all the gods. Nobody talked about it because they are all afraid of him. Vegeta says very well. If you don't plan to attack, first I'll do it. Vegeta attacks. Poseidon attacks with his trident. Vegeta was able to dodge the attack. The gods in the stands are impressed to see that the first being who was able to dodge an attack by Poseidon. The referee says, Impressive! The great Vegeta was able to dodge Poseidon's attack with ease. Vegeta says, Insect, do not underestimate me. Vegeta punches Poseidon's trident by pushing him back. All the humans are impressed. Poseidon looks into Vegeta's eyes and Vegeta says, So you finally think about fighting seriously. If there is anything in which Poseidon and Vegeta resemble, it would definitely be their great pride as warriors. Vegeta attacks Poseidon with a great flurry of punches and kicks, but he defends himself with his great trident. Ares trembles, saying, How is that a human? And he could give so much trouble to a god like Poseidon. Poseidon quickly counters against Vegeta. He dodges all its blows, but each time Poseidon moves faster by cutting a little hair of Vegeta, making him retreat. Humans and gods are very excited about the result, and Vegeta says, don't underestimate me, insect. While Vegeta speaks, Poseidon attacks Vegeta, hitting him with his trident and hurting him a little. Poseidon with his trident makes a dome of blows towards Vegeta, trying to cut him. He dodges all his attacks, but Poseidon persists again and again. Vegeta smiles and says, Is that all you have? You are just an insect. And he transforms into Super Saiyan, causing Poseidon to be pushed aside by the pressure of transformation. Poseidon says, It's the same thing that the other supposed human used against Thor. Interesting. Let's see what you can do now. Vegeta disappears and appears right next to Poseidon. You're too weak to be so conceited. Tell me, Poseidon, how does it feel to be a god? Poseidon says, a god? A perfect god who does not need anyone to become strong. That's a god. He's perfect just as he is. Vegeta says, you are pathetic, like a god. <laughs> what a sad and miserable life you have. Poseidon says, what will a mortal like you know? Vegeta says, at first, I was just as stupid as you, until I met Kakarot, that insect. Maybe you know it from Goku. I thought I didn't need anyone to be strong. I thought nobody could be against me. My great pride made me believe that, but it is not so. I met people that I now protect with my life, and that is what makes me stronger and stronger. Vegeta for a brief moment makes Poseidon relive memories of his older brother whom he killed himself.
Vegeta says, <laughs> That's why I say that your life as a god is insignificant. You prefer to be alone and be feared. That is your weakness. So you will lose this battle against me. The Great Vegeta. Ares says, But what's going on? That guy anticipates all of Poseidon's blows and couldn't also hurt him and also transform like that guy did. These subjects cannot be human. Poseidon still does not surrender. This continues to attack. Poseidon hits Vegeta with his trident in the abdomen but could not get through Vegeta's body because it's now as hard as any divine weapon. Vegeta says, Understand now you have no chance. He smiles. I will show you something so that you can understand the difference between me and you. Vegeta transforms into Super Saiyan 2. <laughs> Zeus, Aphrodite, Shiva, Ares, Hermes, Odin, Loki, and Poseidon himself at that very moment tremble at the enormous pressure of Vegeta's power, as did the gods and humans in the stands. Shiva says, What's wrong? Why am I shaking? Zeus says, What an exciting match! Vegeta says, Kakarot, because we do not show these attempts of gods what a real battle is. Goku says, Vegeta, remember that the lives of humans are in danger. So end the battle at once. Vegeta says, what a bummer. Very well. God Poseidon, I will give you one last gift. I will show you the taste of defeat. Vegeta creates a huge ball of energy. Poseidon says, you won't beat me damn human. That's impossible. Vegeta launches the attack. Now Poseidon was completely destroyed. The great attack caused him to lose his arms. However, Poseidon continued to fight even without hands, using his teeth to grab the trident. Vegeta says, Vermin, I don't want to kill you. Surrender once and for all. Poseidon pays no attention. Vegeta punches the already wounded Poseidon in the face, knocking him out. Knocking him out of action, Vegeta says, I must admit that you are very troublesome as a guy. This defeat will make you stronger. The referee says, What an unpredictable result against humans. They managed to win this fight. Brunhilde would have no words for what she had just seen. The gods remained in silence that seemed eternal. The humans in the stand shout with emotion the name Vegeta. Vegeta says, what a scandal. Hey you, take it to the emergency room if you don't want to die. Gaul and Brunhilde would be very happy for the victory. Goku would say, Vegeta, you don't think you overdid it a bit? It was that or kill that guy, although he is not at our height. It's an incredible guy, but not of those who give up by just losing an arm. Goku says, ah, I guess this time it's okay. It was a good fight. Vegeta, but didn't you say you wouldn't transform? Vegeta said that guy was strong for a moment. He was able to corner me. Goku says, haha, I told you that if they are strong. Vegeta says, it's no big deal either. Also, I do not feel I've lost my power. I think what Whis said does not apply to this world, but I will keep an eye on it. Then I'll continue in the next fight. Goku says, that's right. Son, be very lucky. Vegeta would be a little thoughtful, and Goku would ask Vegeta what was happening to him. Vegeta says, Kakarot, the moment I fought with that god, I had a hunch of feeling, a very powerful key as much as that of Lord Beerus himself, but it could only be my imagination. Goku says, you're wrong, Vegeta. As I told you before, I also felt that key. It's as if I was asleep, but about to wake up. Vegeta says, I see. Then it was not my imagination. We have to be attentive. Son... Be very careful of your next confrontation. We have two victories and at this rate the humans will win. Gohan replies, very well. Meanwhile, on the planet of Beerus, Beerus sneezes. Hush. Apparently someone is talking about me. Whis asks nervously, Mr. Beerus, you've already woken up? Beerus says, don't play dumb with me. Where is it? Whis says, where is what? What do you mean, sir? Beerus says, the only thing that can wake me up from my nap is the delicious aroma of food, and you've hidden something special. Give it to me. Whis says, ah, okay. This is the last one, Beerus. Beerus replies, Whis, how can you hide something like this from me, especially when it comes to ramen? Beerus would remain thoughtful. Something happened, Mr. Beerus? Beerus would say, where is Goku and Vegeta? They usually bring this kind of thing when they need our help. Whis would explain everything to Beerus, and Beerus would say, ah... So you bought a little ramen and ate it by yourself. Whis says apparently he only listened to the ramen part. I think my body needs to stretch a little. It's been a long time since I fought using more than half my power. Besides, Goku and Vegeta have become a little stronger. It would be interesting to try how far they go. Meanwhile, at the gathering of the gods, Zeus says Poseidon was also defeated. These beings are incredibly powerful. We have no chance. Shiva says, old god, do you plan on surrendering against humans? 
Zeus says, of course, I won't continue with the fight, but if I see that we will lose one more time against these guys, then I won't hesitate to wake up my ultimate weapon. All the gods would begin to worry and be frightened. Goku would say, very well then, Brunhilde, who will face my son? Brunhilde views the data shows that the next god to fight in the fourth fight will be the god Hercules himself. Two warriors who aspire to peace and justice are about to face each other.